Welcome to the Capture 2020 tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at view and rendering settings. These live under the views category of the design tab. Here, each of the three design views of Capture, the alpha, beta, and gamma view, has its own column with settings. Let's take a look at some of the most common settings that you will be working with. Let's start with the exposure settings. Automatic exposure, which is enabled by default, means that Capture automatically tunes the exposure or brightness setting of the scene depending on the current lighting conditions. In some circumstances, this is not favorable, and this is why you can turn the automatic exposure on and off. Regardless of this setting, there is also an option to tweak the exposure setting by adding or subtracting exposure values from the setting. I'm going to leave it high for this example. Next, we have a white balance setting that allows you to choose what color temperature renders as the computer screen's perfect white. On the left hand side here, we have some cold light sources that coincide with the color temperature of the computer screen, so they render white. And on the right hand side, we have some warm light sources which appear quite yellow on my screen. If I dial down the white balance setting to somewhere around 3300 Kelvin, you can see that the light sources on the right hand side now appear white, whereas the cold light sources appear quite blue. Next, we have the hue clamp setting. Hue clamp is useful when doing things like pixel mapping, where you need to judge the color of the aperture of fixtures. Because Capture simulates digital cameras, what happens when the light intensity is particularly strong is that colors wash out to white. This is an important part of how we perceive lighting intensity in digital imagery, but in some cases, especially for lighting programming, it may be favorable to lock down the hues so that you can judge the hues without interference from intensity adjustments. Next, we have the bloom effect, and this controls the halo around particularly bright areas of the scene, as the apertures, for instance. This is a useful effect for conveying the brightness of light sources in your scene. Finally, let's also take a look at the bottom below all the other settings, which is called rendering settings. This contains the settings that Capture uses for the live visualization, the quality of it. By default, Capture automatically adjusts the quality to the performance of your computer and the complexity of your project. It does so on the fly, frame by frame, and you can override it and choose whether you favor quality over frame rate or whether you favor performance, that is frame rate over quality. Should that fail, it is also possible to set and choose between a number of hard-coded quality settings. Thanks for watching and see you soon again.